Commando Duck. Here are your orders. Yes, sir. You will parachute at 0600 on position B4. You will proceed down the inland river indicated on your map. Now, you're cautioned to be on the alert for snipers and man-eating crocodiles. Yes, sir. A large enemy airfield is known to be located in the ravine 800 yards below the falls. This point is F8. Here, you will contact the enemy. You are to surround them and wipe them out. Yes, sir. This mission must be accomplished at all costs. That is all. Prepare to jump. Pardon, I bow my stomach at you, very reverent. That's all right. Happy cherry blossoms to you, please. My boy, also, 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 also,
Mr. G. G. Geek, daring adventurer, famous explorer, great athlete, pioneer woodsman, Indian fighter, trapper, and soldier of fortune. In the eyes of his son, that is. Well, son, you're going to learn plenty about the great outdoors. I'm going to teach you how to make camping, how to build a fire, show you all about woodcraft. Gee, swell, Dad. And then I'm going to show you how to hunt. Oh, boy, Pop. Maybe we'll get a lion, huh? Well, we might get a rabbit. Oh, boy! I was driving a stagecoach between Tobar and Lombok. A million dollars in gold dust. Bandits lurking behind every rock. Gee, haw, mate! Get along! Gee, Walker! Yep, there I stood. Engines coming from every which away. I'm knocking them off like flies. God! Followed these tracks into the densest jungle. Biggest tiger I ever shot. Charging straight for me, hoofs a pounding, ground a shaking, cool and collected. What was that? Sounded like a back tire, Daddy. Oh, I thought it was a front one. Well, here we are, little place as any. Let's hit the trail. right between the eyes. <laughs> Toss it up again, son. Whoosh. 
Reminds me of the, the time in the Swiss Alps. I was guiding a party of four, scaling the Matterhorn. Well, this is a good spot. We'll pitch camp right here, son. You unpack the vittles, and I'll hang up for meat, safe from the little forest creatures. Hmm? <laughs> Any wild animals up here, Pop? No, and if there was, I'd grab him by the tail. I'd swing him around, and I'd twist his arm, and I'd jump on him, and then I'd give him the old heave-ho. Come on, Pop. Let's skin that old lion. Ah. Come on, son, we gotta rustle up some grub. Now we rub two sticks together. This is the way the Indians did. <laughs> Better put your sweater on. <laughs> not bad, huh? For not using any matches. Yep, son. Used to be known as Sourdough Joe. Best flapjacks in the Yukon. <laughs> mm hmm. Really stick to your ribs. What was that? A lion? Nah, just forest noises. Well, time to bed down. Good night, son. Good night, Daddy. Uh, keep your powder dry. Daddy. Uh, I want a drink of water. Okay. I'm checking this one first. Mm. I got gotcha. you. Stick him up. Ooh. Swing him around, and I'd twist his arm, and I'd jump on him, and then I'd give him the old heave ho. The lion! Did I ever tell you about the time I was a race driver? Now, here's the money 
in. Hurry home.
Just relax. Let your imagination go. Now turn out the light. Ah, there. That's better. My story begins. A woman speaks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I'm too old. I can't swim. I can't swim. Isn't the view lovely from up here, Harold? Harold! Harold! You're pushing me! Ah! Look, George! The ape! The ape! He's behind you! Are you Mr. D. Duck? Yes, sir. I've been looking for you. If I sell just six more subscriptions, I'll win a real moxie bicycle with a bell and a horn and coaster brakes. <laughs> See? Now you're gone and bent the wheel. What's this? Then you and Dumbbell start smelling to up your yarn, stick to the stool. Oh, just one more big, big, big job. Skip with the dough. <laughs> big Louie chuckled. Leave them other guys holding the sack, and then. Big Louie Debney's thoughts were interrupted as Dopey Davis nervously entered the room, his shifty eyes furtively glancing over his shoulder, as if in apprehension. Big Louie leaped to his feet. Okay. He shouted. Hand over them foils. I ain't got him, Big Louie. Honest, I ain't. I'm innocent. Innocent, I tell you. You, you gotta help me. You just gotta, you gotta, Louie. You, you can't let him do it. They're here. They're gonna get us. Scram. Not so fast, pretty boy. You've got them portals. Give him over, rat. I ain't got him, copper. Honest, I ain't. Well, then who has got him? Who's got him? Why, he's got him. Aha! Just as I thought. Aren't you ashamed? A big guy like you stealing from this poor little innocent. <laughs> Just a little girl who's lost her pearls. Oh, dear. I don't know where to find them. Come on, Rat! Give me them pearls! I just know they're around here someplace. Oh, bother. Now look, Chum. We don't want to have to get nasty, do we? No. So give the nice lady back her. Ah, kidnapped! Kidnapped! Okay, where's the dame? Sure, and won't she be giving old Patty back the little woman? Okay, Bob. You asked for it. I ain't got a way to make you talk. Clark! The hot iron! Leslie J. Clark, Hot Irons. <laughs> hot! You just ain't kidding, Buster. No, you're not. No, you're not. This little number's just about the hottest, hottest job in town. Yes, sir. <laughs> hot! Woo, woo. Uh, say, this is hot. Hot! <laughs> yes, sir, Bob. You're boiling over, boiling over. This one's selling like little hot cakes, little hot cakes. Hot, hot, hot cakes. Uh, right off the griddle, griddle, griddle. Oh, oh, oh. Hot, hot, hot. Here, son, hold these. Ouch! Hot! Putting 
out my hot iron. Let's see now. Where was I? Oh, yes. Oh, diggity. I've just got to find my pearls. Hello, Mabel. This is Pauline. Have you seen my pearls around there any place? Well, you know they're a priceless heirloom, handed down from my great, 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 great grandmother, or somebody, I think. Hello, hello, hello. And now get this. First, it's the pearls that's missing. Oh, dear. Somebody wants to use the line. Thanks for calling. Bye. Now it's the pearls and the whole dame that's missing. What dame? What dame? He's asking. Why this dame? The dame whose pearls you snatched. Now you're gonna cough them up? Or am I gonna have to cut them out of you? <laughs> Stop. Who's that? J. Harold King, the author. That man's innocent. Okay, then, wise guy. Who done it? Who stole them pearls? Who stole the pearls? Why, why, he's a... Oh, dear me. Who is a... Mm, mm, mm. Oh, pardon me. Oh, oh, yes. The thief is... Yes, yes? Out with it! <laughs> Hennessy. Hennessy? Uh-huh. Not you, Hennessy. Yes. H-U, Hennessy. That's me. I done it. I done it. But you'll never take me alive. And you, you little rat, you got me into this. Take that! <laughs> Let's get out of, out of here. Take a powder, beat it, or we'll take the rat. Get the hot seat. Scrap! Really nothing there, is there? Well, possibly it was only your imagination. is on. It's a beautiful day here at Lanky Stadium. The tension is high as these two great teams clash in the first game of the World Series. DeMarco's the first batter, a right-handed hitter, batting 372. The pitcher puts his foot on the... You're out! <laughs> out is three and two on Cy Cobb. This is the important pitch. Uh -oh. The pitcher is taking plenty of time. Rubs up the ball. Glances over to first, to second, to third. And there's the pitch. A swing. And a miss. He's out. Take a Strike him out! The next batter steps up to the plate. Knocks the dirt out of his... Get your official program here. Skurza Nowinski comes to the plate, batting 297. The pitcher is ready for his delivery. There's the windup. The pitch. Red hot peanuts, popcorn.
show you don't want this ball, eh? Well, that's the gotch. Let's get it. Pitcher is set to go again. Comes up the ball. The wind up. And the pitch. The batter gets set for a bunt. He bunts, but it's a pop ball. He's out. And it ends the inning. What a game. The score is nothing to nothing as we go into the first half of the third inning. Here comes the runner and the throw. It's going to be close. He slides and he's safe at home. Sharp single into left field. Murphy is over, fields the ball. He whips it into second, holding the runner to first base. <laughs> and it brings home run Casey to bat with the bases loaded. Oh, the tension is terrific. Casey waits, and the pitch. It's a long one, and they can't get it. He's around first. Going into second, he's coming on to third, and here he comes to the plate, the throw. <laughs> and the umpire calls him out at the plate, ending the ball game. <laughs> Uh-oh, that sets up a terrific argument. Casey is really laying it into the umpire. <laughs> and he's sending Casey to the showers. <laughs> Thank you.